The federal government has decried the level of infrastructure decay at the federal government academy, the school for the gifted and talented in Suleja. The Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, after an inspection of facilities at the school, assured that the presented, uh, present administration has decided inco to incorporate the academy to its vision for skill acquisition in Nigeria. Correspondent Kuluju completes the story. The School for the Gifted and Talented in Suleja was established by the administration of Ibrahim Babangida in 1990 for the gifted children and is fully funded by the federal government. The institution that is tuition free, unlike its contemporaries, is fast losing its relevance due to increasing rates of infrastructural decay. The Minister of Education, Professor Tahir Maman, who was on the spot assessment to the school, said he decided to let a fact-finding team to the institution following a series of reports received by the ministry. He revealed that the school started with old facility and maintenance has been a problem, adding that what is on ground does not answer the expectations of the school on what it should be. Now what we have seen, uh it doesn't really answer our expectations of the type of school that it should be. Uh, they have achieved some mileage, but that's not the, the destination we should be looking at. And uh, we didn't want to be in the office just to be receiving reports. There have been teams who came here to inspect these things and uh, check things out. We were not satisfied with the report. We wanted to see it for ourselves, uh, what is on the ground. And we are happy we came and um, the principal has done her bit within the limited resources available to her and is probably also one of the very few places where students are supposed to be here free you know nothing they are not they don't pay anything based on the discovery the minister has therefore extended the reception dates for students of the school by 10 days not only that, Professor Mama made known the intention of the Tinubu led administration to showcase the school, ensure provision of required infrastructure, and make the academic environment suitable for its purpose. Uh, as you know, this is the only school of its type in the country. It is called the National School for the Gifted, where we are supposed to assemble students who demonstrate special aptitude and capacity to come here for special training and um, for us we need to showcase the school and for us to do that we, we need to see that the necessary supporting infrastructure is there that the academic environment is suitable for that purpose and um, this is a place set up in 1990 about 30 years now, 30 years plus. Now it started off on an old site, old facilities, and so maintenance has been a problem. But uh, what we have seen is a very active community engagement through the PTA that have been very active, and then some of the sites of the school have been very, very active. We've seen uh, what 2004 said have done. He helped the management of the school not to relent but should continue to work towards the attainment of the set objectives of the academy, which is a nursing potential for national development. From Suleja, Kunle Ojo, Galaxy TV.